Well, it's Tuesday and uh, I'm on my way southbound from the 501 shelter. Um, sorry, I wasn't really able to record anything on the inside. It's kind of cool though. Really firm, stable bunks. Um, I threw down my uh, tent footprint under my air mattress so that the uh, air mattress doesn't get caught by uh, nails or splinters or anything like that. Uh, just to protect a little bit. Had a good night's sleep. Um, I forgot to tell you that uh, Rob the Nomad, uh, he's a YouTuber, uh, was also in there. I met him up in Port Clinton, and we've talked several times now. And I just thought this might be a good place to, to give you a quick update for the morning. Um, I might try for the Roche Gap shelter today. It's a real stretch for me. I'm expecting I'll be camping uh, south uh, of it. I'm, I'm sorry, north of the Roche Gap. I don't think I'll make it the whole way. It's almost 18 miles. That'd be a, on this trip, it'd be a personal best. I just don't want to hurt myself. So, gonna get out here, enjoy this for a couple more minutes myself, and then uh, keep moving. There's, there's several kinds of blazing you can do out here. One of them is silk blazing. And that's when you're the first person on the trail and you pick up all the spider webs. You can't see them, they're too small, but I can feel them. They're all over my face and my arms, my legs. I'm sure I got spiders crawling on me too. If you see any, you know, send me a message and let me know. Well, let's check out the Fisher Overlook. Is it worth the uh, 50 yard detour? I don't know, maybe it is. So that's uh, facing east for the most part. So you might see a real cool sunrise. Uh, sunset on that side might not be too spectacular, but it could be. Every time I get to a road crossing like this, where there are no cars to be seen or heard. For some reason, I think back to Saturday mornings in the cartoons when uh, Wile E. Coyote would be standing there and then cross the road and get run over. Hour or so ago, I heard some uh, raindrops coming through the trees. So I happened to be sitting right at the Blue Blaze for the William Penn shelter. So I grabbed my stuff, headed down to that nice shelter down there Hung out there for about an hour, checking YouTubes, reading emails, Facebooking, all of that kind of stuff. And I came back up. The trail's been really nice. Uh, just kind of like this, almost all the way back to the 501 shelter. Again, I'm headed southbound. And uh, it's been great. Met a few people. A lot of people actually today compared to other days. Um, everybody's smiling and everything. This is uh, June 21st. Hike Naked Day, you notice I am not participating. We don't need to see that. After a few miles of really nice trail, the rocks have started again. The people I'm meeting going now northbound are not happy about the rocks, but they seem to be a little bit happy when I tell them they'll have some nice trail for a while. Well, if they put up a sign, for an overlook, it must be pretty good. Yeah, it was worth a walk over, don't you think? Sometimes I wonder who uses these um, gravel roads in the middle of nowhere. The trail crosses them and, and you never see cars on them or four wheelers. But somebody built them, I wonder why. On the other side of that bridge is my ride to salvation. Just like the old roads you find in the woods, these old bridges are cool. 
somebody designed these and built them. They used them for a hundred years. And I get to walk over them. If you're going southbound, that's where you come up. If you're going northbound, that's where you go down. And then you cross that cool bridge. <laughs>